Where did your passions for technology and art originate? Ah, uh, my passion for art originated through a ceramics, um, a ceramics mentor of mine named Alec Hazlett. Uh, he's one of the premier potters in upstate New York. He studied with a number of the folks that were responsible for Bauhaus and, and things like that. And um, so I, I studied uh, wheel thrown ceramics for as long as I can remember. I think I started when I was five or six. Um, and uh, that was like a thing to do. And then it became uh, a release. And then it became, uh, now it is a, wow, I wish I had more time on Saturdays to spend in my, in my studio. Um, very much art driven. Uh, it's, it's functional ceramics, but it's also, let's make it the way I want to make it. There's no constraints. There's no clients. There's no deadlines. Um, on the technology side, I've spent a, a great deal of time playing with the early um, foundations of the internet. Uh, and um, I was uh, using dial out uh, remote BBSs um, on, a, on remote vaxes at RIT when I was seven and eight years old to call, you know, pirate bulletin boards and stuff <laughs> like that. Like, um, we got a cease and desist. My, my dad actually sent us this letter. We have a cease and desist from one of RIT's heads of technology because we, we hacked their password file. And back then that was like, you run Cracker Jack overnight and it brute force hits it with a, what am I gonna do with a bunch of accounts to RIT's vax? But, um, <laughs> But, but I do remember, you know, getting my first Magnavox 28612 and, uh, and going to town on it. Um, also the Apple IIc and all that good stuff. So I don't know, both of those um, were, were pretty prevalent in my life growing up. And then uh, it sounds like it was um, uh, well designed, but it was in fact very arbitrary that I ended up going to Carnegie Mellon. I remember I got a brochure to, to attend pre-college there for design. I thought it was cool. I went. Uh, I went to undergrad there. I continued to my master's there. And uh, uh, years later, uh, you do some research and you're like, wow, that's like the epicenter of everything technology uh, <laughs> leading up into what is now uh, normal culture. So, you know, I think I got super lucky with, with all of those things sort of um, leading to what is now my, my job, my career, and my passions.